Well, hello, friends. Good to have you joining with us this afternoon. I'm just in the car here, as you can see. I've got a few minutes to spare. Uh, I'm about to give somebody a lift, and I'm here a little bit early. But uh, just thought I would upload a little devotional. At emergency situations like this, whenever you're in the car and you've got some time, rather than sitting like a zombie scrolling through the phone, I've always a couple of books in the car that I can rely on to read if I've got a few moments uh, to spare. One of them, of course, is the Word of God, the Bible. Good to have the Bible with you everywhere you go, especially in the car, because sometimes you're in the car. As long as you don't read it whenever you're driving, you should be okay. So I like to have the Bible in the car, and then a little book that somebody got me a Christmas or two ago, a little book about birds. I've always had an interest in birds, and I like to have a little bird book here in the car. Now in the Sermon on the Mount, in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, amongst all of the wonderful lessons that the Lord teaches us, one lesson is to behold the fowls of the air. Matthew chapter 6, verse 26. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Behold the fowls of the air. In other words, study the birds. The study of birds is commonly known as ornithology. And it's a wonderful subject, especially whenever you relate it to the Word of God. A number of years ago in Coleraine, we did a study on many of the birds that are mentioned in the Bible. I think from memory, there was about 29 birds that we looked at from the Word of God, a biblical ornithology. And the Saviour said, Behold the fowls of the air. Study them. And the Bible has much to say about the sparrow, uh, about the dove, about the eagle, about the pelican, about the falcon, about the owl, and so it goes on. Many birds are mentioned by name in the Bible, and there are distinct lessons that we can learn from each and every one of them. So the Lord did well to tell us to behold the fowls of the air. And on this occasion he says, Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, nor do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them, are ye not much better? than they. And this little bird book has a picture here of a robin in it. Little juvenile robin here up at the top. Sometimes you see those in the garden and they're hard to uh, discern what type of bird they are because they look a lot different whenever they get a little bit bigger and they develop the red breast and the white and the brown back. But the robin's a lovely little bird and uh, it just says here in this book, the robin is the most familiar garden bird. It needs little description. For its warm brown upper parts and orange-red face and breast are well known. The young bird can be confusing as it lacks the red breast and is heavily marked with pale speckles. Robins are gardeners' constant companions, sometimes hopping about within arm's reach looking for grubs and insects as they are uncovered. The call is a pronounced tick and the song, which may be sung at any time of the year by a highly territorial male, is a recognisable and present warbling. Now, Martin Luther said the best preacher that he ever witnessed or ever paid heed to was a little robin that visited his window sill of his study every morning. Came with a song, sat on the window sill, regardless whether it was raining or whether the sun was out or whether it was blowing a gale or snowing, the little robin was there every morning on his window sill and he fed it. And he says, that little robin taught me so many valuable lessons. Never to lose my song, never to lose my joy, always to be in my place, and also to rely on my Heavenly Father to supply all of my needs. And so it is so true. The fowls of the air, they sow not, neither do they reap, neither do they gather into barns, and yet our Heavenly Father feeds them. Are ye not much better than they? So listen, here's some advice for you. Get off the internet. Stay away from social media for a little while. Stop listening to all of the, all of the conspiracy theories from either side of the spectrum. So discouraging at times. Get away from that. Go out for a walk. Listen to the birds sing. Have a look at them. Watch them. Behold the fowls of the air. And remember that your heavenly Father feeds them. And yet you're much more precious to him than they are. Be encouraged. Even at this time of the year, think about the little Christmas robin and keep an eye out for them 
and remember that the God who feeds the sparrow, the God who feeds the fowls of the air, is the one who will provide for our needs as we approach the end of this year and as we begin to the year that lies ahead. God bless you and we will see you again, hopefully, very soon. Bye-bye.